Hey guys, welcome to another aesthetic review. Today we're looking at the Jordan Dub Zero 2.0 Gym Red. This was the first Jordan I bought when I first started collecting sneakers about a year ago. I wasn't aware that this shoe was a post retro version. I just thought it looked really cool, and so I bought it. Then I got curious, watched a couple sneakerhead videos on YouTube about them, and realized they're an amalgamation of a couple different shoes. This shoe combines aspects from the Air Jordan 4, 6, 11, 12, 13, along with some later models such as the 15s, 17s, and 20s. Originally released in 2005, the Jordan Dub Zero was the brand's first attempt as a hybrid sneaker. It features patent leather inspired by the 11, laser print leather inspired by the 20, smooth buttery leather for the heel, other colorways have a woven pattern here, inspired by the 15, a rubber pull tab, inspired by the 6, and a file-on midsole, inspired by the 4. However, the shoes were branded as off-court shoes, meaning that their cut and materials aren't meant for performance. Also, the shoes are clunky and heavy. It almost feels like you're walking around in a winter boot while wearing these. Additionally, the zoom units have a negligible effect. The shoe looks like a Jordan, but doesn't feel like one. I don't think they're made for basketball at all either, but they look cool and they're easy to clean. Many sneakerheads think that hybrids aren't genuine, but these look really cool, on feet and in hand. I'm a really big fan of shoes that feature black and red. Almost makes me feel like I'm a Sith Lord when I wear them. Let's take a closer look at that laser print. It features Tinker Hatfield's original design sketches. You got the 13s, the 5s, the 12s, the 11s. A whole bunch of shoes that inspired this one. The tongue features mesh and leather and has a 2 going down the middle and a jump man inscribed on the tongue. The heel cup is wolf gray and accented with the Jordan logo. Continuing up the heel we find a rubber pull tab inspired by the sixes. Many people say these shoes have long lasting durability but lack flexibility. They feel like wearing a Jordan 13, probably because it was inspired by that model. The shoe also features dual zoom units but you can barely feel them. This could very well be because they aren't broken in and I've only worn them a couple times in the past year. I never worn them outside. Also, I'm not saying they're uncomfortable, just stiff. The shoes aren't really the easiest to put on either, but that's expected with a mid-top basketball shoe. They lack some of the extra cushion that you find in the heels of a five or 13. On the bottom, we have a herringbone traction pattern with the Jumpman logo. This makes the shoes flawless in a slippery situation. Now a quick bit about the fit. I ordered these in a size 12 because they're off court shoes which means I could go a half size up from normal and a full size up from an athletic fit and still feel good about it. Now let's get to the rating. Colorway, 10 out of 10. Classic Chicago bread on a Jordan that pays homage. Midsole, 8 out of 10. Aesthetically pleasing, inspired by the four dueling zoom units. Flexibility, 5 out of 10. It won't bend without the weight of your entire body. But the traction, 10 out of 10. Flawless in any season. Fit, 8 out of 10. Might want to go up half a size or else the shoe might be difficult to put on. And overall, 8.2 out of 10. I call these clubbing shoes because they're stylish and heavy. Thanks for tuning in to my aesthetic review of the Jordan Dub Zero 2.0 Gym Red. Stay tuned for the next video.